Hello everybody and welcome to another toy review. In today's video we're taking a look at the second mech in the Battle Strike Team Rail Vanguard series. This guy is called Wind Thunder Saber. Uh, of course, he, like the previous review, he is a train, albeit this one is just a singular character, whereas the other one was made up of the turtle and the phoenix. Uh, series can also be known as Giant Saver Season 4, but I think it's correctly named uh, Battle Strike Team. He's like the equivalent of uh, Power Rangers. And then we have uh, Giant Saver, then we have Space Deleter, then we have Rescue Engine, and now we have Railway Vanguard. Uh, this guy really reminds me of Might Game. He's just got that gorgeous color scheme about him. Just really does kind of scream out to me. Ticks so many nostalgic boxes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where these accessories are meant to go in this vehicle mode, uh, but these can screw in. Uh, mine's a little bit warped from the trip from China, but it's a really nice long staff. And would love a track or something for these to roll on. I said it in my unboxing video. Wonder if these would fit on the track that comes with the Hearts of Steel figures uh, that Mastermind Creations did. I wonder if this would fit along with those tracks. Now, unlike the previous review, where they turned into train and beast and then combine, this one goes into train, beast, and then forms a single mech. So our first port of action is to disengage this rear tab and just untab these pieces, this piece here, it's going to flip and fold out on both sides. This piece here and tabs, revealing our Griffin's head. And this piece here flips out to form the tail. You can then tab these pieces in. These sections here are gonna separate. And this bends around tabbing in, this comes down. You want to do that on both sides. And then this is going to tab in to this tab piece here. So again, on this side, in that round, bring this down, then bring that in. And there we have him in his mighty storm lion mode. Gorgeous colors on this, love the sculpt on there. Let's just see how he looks alongside Turtle and Phoenix. Yeah, they all look good together, I think. Look nice, I like the fact that they've kept these golds the same as well. Something I dislike more than when they kind of have very similar colors, uh, but they don't quite match for us. Obviously all of these do line up. How we can open these cannons as well. These are designed to kind of come down like so. And then we have these flip up pieces here to expose the rockets and a quick iron hide size comparison there because we have him handy. Go from here to his robot form. You want to just disengage these legs like so. Fold the tail. This is going to extend like so. The head comes up like so. This piece is going to rotate down and then push and lock into position. These pieces here split and extend and extend like this. These leg panel pieces fold inwards, up and over, closing off. This folds like so. And then this is gonna come down and form the foot. Then this foot piece here, that just lines up like so. And tabs in on the leg. Close off the lion mouth. Come to these arms, these bits here, fold downwards. The peg comes out and this bit here forms the fist. And this just pushes and locks into place. And then we can bring the staff in and that just goes 
like so. Uh, I think this is designed for the uh, full mode though, because that stuff's a little long like that. So let's just untab this piece, unscrew that, and just have him with his sword like so. He's probably the weakest of the three mechs. It's nice that he forms his own robot. He definitely screams brave, in my opinion, though. It holds together really nicely. Again, a really solid piece. Very much like those old Takara bots. Uh, let's just see how he looks alongside Heatwave Saver. Quite a bit smaller, but the idea is to kind of get these all together. In fact, he's actually got a big kind of uh, Elder One vibe about him as well, haven't he? They're kind of their dino combiners they did. Oh God, loads of nostalgic feels coming from these. Definitely the most nostalgic of the lines that the Battle Strike team have done, in my opinion. But like I said, quite a bit shorter in terms of how he would scale with the Megazord. Here he is with the very garish KO Turbo Megazord. Uh, he's kind of a decent-ish height. I'm really looking forward to getting these all combined up though. As I said, I said in my Heatwave review, I am still waiting for the third and final mech to come along, then I can combine all three. And when I get that third and final as well, I'll do a review where we see uh, Giant Saver and Space Deleter and Rescue Engine as well. I'll have all of those in so we can see how they all fare for scale wise. But this is definitely one of the most fun and easy to play with sets that I've had from them. Uh, we get an interlinking set as well, so we can link all of the trains together. But uh, still, as I previously mentioned, I think I still need to find some form of track for these to plod along on. And whilst we're here, I would just like to uh, point out, as pointed out to me by 1984 Hound on my previous video, uh, when I combined these two sections here, I should have folded the wheels in, which allows those to connect a lot easier and my phoenix tail should have been the other way around uh, which would have made it easier for him to balance so thank you again for pointing that out to me so just make note of that i'll highlight the comment in that video as well let me know your thoughts on these sets uh, gorgeous looking piece arms are a little bit stumpy uh, but we do have uh, some kind of rotation in there so we can kind of go up and down we have some bends on those elbows nothing really on the legs, uh, some up and down on those feet, no real pivots or anything in there. But he does what he needs to, he does what I expect him to do. I'm really looking forward to getting the rest. Thanks again to Sir Toys for making this review possible, and until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectors household, ah, goodbye. <laughs>